some weird guy, you know, from a Norway is not, not, not such a just country. So I wasn't really, you know, impressed, uh, excited <laughs> about this game. So, okay, he played well, but then okay, he just collapsed and okay, I won. Jan is uh, somebody who plays very, very quickly. It's extremely strong at tactics, can be very, very strong even in simple positions where you can just spot some little, little tactics. Uh, he's very dangerous, he can be very fast, very tactically sharp. Um, I, uh, I do think he probably uh, has, to, has to step up a little bit his uh, uh, preparation less than 50 percent but much more than zero and regarding his play here uh, in this tournament i think he played uh, extremely well except for two games two games he played just very bad uh, both games that he lost so well, i think it's so very going to be very close because he looks really strong now i think it's uh, he's going to be a very very dangerous opponent for Magnus. This is a, a historic moment. And he's smiling, he's smiling. He's smiling. <laughs> he knows <laughs> he's done it. Keine traurig zu gegen Magnus eine Partie gewinnen zu können. Ich denke, seine Chancen sind deutlich gestiegen auf dem Turniersieg, denn jetzt noch mal sieben Runden alles geben, das kann er durchaus schaffen. Er ist nach wie vor in Führung. Ding Liren gewinnt, Fabiana Caruana gewinnt, aber es ist für die beiden Top-Favoriten zu spät, noch ins Rennen einzugreifen. Jan de Pomnesche heißt der Gegner von Magnus Carlsen. Wir gratulieren. Jan de Pomnesche. Finally, the winner of the tournament, first place in the candidates tournament in the 2020 Russian chess player, Grandmaster, 2010 European champion, 2010 national champion, two times world team chess champion winner playing for Russia, Jan Nipomnyshi. At that time, everyone spoke with Jan as the next world champion. They said he was even more talented than Karyakin, even more talented than Magnus. Okay.